and welcome back guys. So today we'll be showing you guys how to build my 8x8 farm and I'm going to take a long break from Russ so I figured I'd show you guys how to make this farm. So I'm not going to be able to make it like I normally do. Uh, normally I do windows but on this server for this build server it's not allowing me to put this above the windows for some reason. So I'm going to have to do it this way. Isn't that cool? So that's an upgrade to the farm at this point. That is so much more efficient than what was being done before. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into building this farm. So let me just discard that crap. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need an 8x8 area. If you are playing on a vanilla server, you're going to need to be near a water source or the ocean for a water source. If you are on a PvE server or a modded server that allows you to do pump craft, this will work fine too. So, let's go ahead and let me just get into no clip mode again. Make sure no clip mode is working. And you're going to need 8 pumps. Looks at me, what the fuck, am I going to eight of these? Yes, yes you are. Place them down. Try to place them down as closely as possible to each other. This way you don't have to stretch the hoses out too far. Oh my god, that said hose. It's biting me. It's like, no! I don't want to go there. Go there. You will do as told. Little pinky. All right. Now that we have our eight pumps in place, we really need to get the power up. So, as I mentioned before, because I can't do my normal window frames like I usually do. I'm going to be using the texture pack Adobe, so I can figure out exactly on the see that bottom line. I'm going to be using that as a reference to put my heaters on. So you can do this with any texture pack. Uh, usually I use 100 power. So usually I use a test Jenny for my farms. But for people that play it on vanilla, you know, it's probably a good thing to have a video showing how the 8x8 is built this way. If I take an eight month break, I can look back and go, okay, yeah, I thought about that. <laughs> so, this is what it should look like from above. You have your eight by eight, you've got two, four, six roll rows. This is where your planters will go. Um, so, now let's go ahead and work on power. So, we're going to want to put our entire roof as this, and I'm going to use the Brutal List skin pack is because it's going to tell me exactly where the center is. Now, I'm not going to build the entire farm out. I'm just going to get the first part operational, and you can just copy the first part that I have set up to the rest of the little areas. I can get to building the horse farm and showing how that's built. Alright, let me go upgrade this to the brutalist pack. I don't know why I can't just upgrade it. Has a skin pack on here, but it's like okay. Try to do this quick, but it's being trolled by an admin on the other server, where they would constantly make it so I couldn't skin the item to what I needed, so it makes it easier, and faster to do this. Not sure what the hell the problem was. I don't know if the admin's just bored or what. Being bored on a 
build server, controlling table, but it gets kind of annoying. Alright, so we got a roof on. So let me just hop down here. So the reason I choose this skin pack for the roofing is see how it does the four squares. I have I know exactly where my lights want to go right in that middle. So now we need to build the electrical panel. We need to build the electrical. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn my no clip back on. And we are going to build six towers for the wind turbines. And for some reason, it's going to be like that. Stone. And I'm just going to go back to normal stone for these because getting tired of the shit. Two, three, four, five. Uh, if you have the option to do test generators, I would recommend doing it. Uh, wind turbines seem laggy for some reason. My previous clan that I was with had a party base and they had 36 wind turbines. It lagged so bad. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, and then we weaponized the party base because we could just turn it off and on with a smart switch and we could just lag out the people that are near base and just come over and, oh, thank you for the rockets. <laughs> Yeah, that's how that ended up. So, once you get six of those set up, uh, let me finish putting my six up. Because we're going to need it for power. Once you get these six up, put your wind turbines on top of it. Get up there. Found a new server to go and build on. It's just like the Alliance game server. It's got almost all the same plugs. The only difference is it's got zombies on it. I've been craving to play a server that had zombies on it for a while now. Alright, now we need three wind turbines. We are going to need two of these because we got to convert these into batteries. So, yeah. Fun, fun. We're going to need three of these. And then we need six turbines. Oh boy, Admin's gonna come over here. What the hell are you doing? Admin! Probably. I would not be surprised. Like, that's why I picked way out here to build it, so. Well, I don't like building it with wind turbines. Wind turbines are kinda laggy. As you can tell, I'm building on a build server that is not English. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell are they talking about over there. Alright. So. Come back down here. We're going to put our batteries right over here. I 
I put it on backwards. No. Yikes, man. So I'm trying to get the panel facing towards us here. Like that. Okay, we will wire this up real quick, and then we'll move on to the next phase of this. Come back up. And two, two, so about here. Put down your root combiners. Put it in the middle this way. All in a good spot, wire it. I'm not going to be all fancy with it, you guys can be fancy with it if you want to, but I I'm just going to get it operational enough so that you can replicate what's done here and you can make it all nice and pretty looking by you guys' self. <laughs> uh, too far up. Where is it? Alright, so we got our power places. Alright. Take a public card from here. Figure out where you are in the base. Stick it here. Come all the way over here. Sounds like there's someone near me. I just don't see them, so they must be in vanish mode or something. Watch, I'm being watched by an admin going, hey, you're causing me my server to lag or something. I'm like, hey man, I'm just trying to Build a farm base, man. <laughs> well, some servers can handle advanced farms like this. Some servers can't. Sometimes those servers are just poopy. <laughs> uh, pretty much, if you get a good server, it's going to be able to handle things. Get a poopy service, it's not gonna do what you need to do. Try to do this as quickly as possible so we don't get trolled. Yeah, on these kind of servers, you'll occasionally get admins that are bored and they'll sit there and troll you and try to start shit and they're like, yeah, I'm a no board for that. Alright. So we need eight of these. Technically we need 16 of them, but looks at me. What the hell would you need 16 of them for? Yeah So One, two, three, four, five Six Seven Eight And there we go. That got eight One Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's eight. So the first circuit up top is going to be your large wire pumps outside. And then this one down below is going to be your small pumps. So let's get these wired up. This is going to be your pump control. This is going to be your heaters. This is going to be your lights. Go ahead and change each one of these to five.
and that's all you need for those. So now we need to hook this into a power source real quick, so we will choose this one here. 180 power, nice. I want to use blue so that we know that this is going to pumps outside. So this farm does not require water barrels at all. Looks at me, what? That's usually an important thing, yeah, you don't need them at all. Looks at me, what the hell? Three, four, five, six, seven, I'm just making sure there's eight. Alright, so we've got our pumps running now. We're going to turn this off temporarily. So, next thing we're going to need, we're going to need eight normal small pumps. Now, these don't require power anymore, which is nice. Got eight of these. So now, I usually do a windowsill here. Um, I don't know if I can do slash remove. Uh, you can use Sprint Plus. I'm trying to figure out how to remove a wall in here. Just give me a second. You can use Sprint Plus to remove build. Well, I was going to just put a window here so I can demonstrate what I usually do here, but I'll just make this work. I'm trying to make this video less than 45 minutes. Alright, so that's what you need to do next. Now you need to wire some electrical to the next panel down there. I'll turn that back on so we can see that we have power. and then power each one of those pumps up. So I'm going to use green for this. I'm just going to line it over. It's too bad there's no bypass for like a thing where you can pass through it basically for these. That would have been really nice. Also prevent a lot of lag from having to set up individual uh, electrical branches.
so we got all these set up now. So I'm going to go ahead and put down planters in the front room. And I'm going to put down the heaters. You're just going to copy the same thing I do in the front room in each one of these areas. Uh, I will try to place this as quickly as I can. So I'm going to use the front tier pan for the planter box because it just looks nicer and it's easier to hide the wires. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll just build it out just so that you can see the whole thing and I can get a nice screenshot. So, we're already showing how much this takes to build. 63,000 stone, holy shit. Just ignore any background noise you hear. I am recording during the day, so who knows what's going to happen. Who knows if someone just makes a massive fart in the next room. It's just like, really, dude? Uh, well, I figured if I just show you guys how to build my 8x8, then while I take my break from Rust, and I'll, you guys can keep building a more advanced and more optimized farm. I've seen a lot of rust farms out there where they'll put the light and the sprayer slash sprinkler in the four corners and it never gives even wire hydration to the planters. So you kind of see why it's like, really? Looks like I need eight more of these. So what I like to do is I like to do clones in the, this back row here, and then the two front rows do all the growing. That's what I like to do. It's way you're constantly replenishing the clones that you are needing for making teas. This way you don't sit there and you know, wait 10, 20 minutes for your clones to grow enough so you can harvest them or clone them. And you're still growing plants while waiting, you know. So now, I'm just gonna see here. We are gonna need eight of these. Let's do this. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to want to put this right in the middle, like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alrighty, so now we've got to put that there. And that right there. So let's go ahead and do the wire system. Let's turn off the water. 
and we're just going to hook it up so that it's hooked up enough. Uh, yeah, we probably should just do these now. Uh, I'm just going to do 20 for now. I'm not actually 100% sure how many I need to do here, but yeah. So now, this is where this texture pack comes in handy for the Adobe. I need my heater to be about here. And then we place this underneath. And look how nice that is. And it gets even temperature for the planter boxes, allowing your plants to grow faster. Even amount of water, which makes things grow faster. And if you put fertilizer in the boxes, it shaves off another 10 minutes. So instead of sitting there for an hour and 30 minutes, you could be sitting there for an hour and 10. It's not that bad. Look at me. Wow. Never knew that. Never knew temperature mattered. Yeah, temperature matters. <laughs> Found out the hard way. It's best to try to get this exactly even with that line, but you know, this is just for showing you guys how to set this up, so. Oh boy, I get to go over here and do it now. As mentioned before, usually I use windows here, and then I do like the strength of windows all over the place. But this server is kind of funky where it won't let me do what I usually do, so it's like, what the hell, man? Oh boy, I get to sit here and guess. Oh, I'm good. Oh, that was close. Oh. Alright, apparently we need three more of these, wow. Hmm. We're almost done. Actually, no, we need one more of these. One of those. One of those. Because I forgot about that. <laughs> So now we just gotta, uh, I'm gonna set up all the pump system now, so, and then we'll put the lights up and we'll wire up the heaters. So let's do the pump system first. So we got our pumps all set up. So I'm gonna do blue for pumps. Just ignore the background noise, there's nothing I can do about that. Like, he's, there's someone, like my neighbor or something is set up in gazebo at the worst possible timing. Always something. Nice. 
Okay, you can see why we needed eight of these. So, we get the normal pump pumping wire from the stream here, and then it's going to go into the small pumps, which is going to push that wire through the system into the sprinkler system, basically. Yeah, it's a little confusing. I sat there with going, huh? The first time? That's the exact same thing. What the hell are you talking about? So now we've got all our pumps set up correctly, we can now p uh, pipe this water directly into the fluid spoilers. So now that water is going from the pump over here, you can now turn off the sprinklers because if you do it the other way, you're just leaving, if we were to take a hose directly from there and put it into a fluid splitter, it would they would always be on and it would lag terribly over time. So this is why it's best to have everything on like an off switch. Yeah, let's let's do it smart and do it correctly the first time and let's not cause lag. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna take that middle pump and we're gonna come all the way down here. Trying to make this look kind of clean. Put that right there. Come up here. Oh great, it's gonna do the fuddy duddy. That's wired, that's wired. So come over here. Pop the line in there. That's wired up, okay. So, go here. not pretty, but it works. <laughs> right, go ahead and connect your sprinklers up. I'm going to do it like this so it looks a little nicer.
time flies when you're building. I just looked at the clock, it's already like 7, and I started building this not too long ago, so I'm like, what? Time flies when you're having fun. So just repeat this process of hooking up your wire lines. Alright, so now we got all that set up, we just need to put up lights and we're basically done. Uh, let's see here. Do that. And we need to hook up these. But I'm just going to put these lights up in the first half, and you're more than welcome to finish it out. But I'm not going to sit here and put lights up for the whole thing. I'll do the front part, but. I just wanted to show you, you know, this is how you set it up. That's how all the wire lines are set up. And the lights are really simple. Go ahead and wire this up. We'll wire up the heaters first, and then we'll wire up the front lights, and then we'll turn the sprinklers on and show the finished product. So, for the heaters, we are going to use this guy right here. I'm going to kind of just cobble it together here. And I'm going to hide the wiring into the planter here.
All right, let's go flip the switch. Thankfully, I'm done building in this area, but uh, apparently an admin has come over here and is now preventing me from building. Freaking dick. Thankfully, all I have to do is set up the wiring at this point, so... Yeah, I'm on this server. I was being trolled by an admin on a different server already, so... If you do use this server to build, just be warned. The admins like to sit there and troll people while they're building. They'll sit there and make it so that you can't skin your building, or they'll sit there and turn off your build privilege without, like, just being a dick. And that's why I left the other server to come build over here and, like, really, dude? But yeah, this is how you build this advanced next-gen farm. Can't win, man. Went to the Alliance Game Service, relax, and then people got toxic and hateful over there, and they're lashing out at me, and then I go over here to show you guys how to build this farm. And now I'm being trolled by an admin, and he's being kind of a dick. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, that's how you build it. I'm not going to do anything more at this point. Uh, show you that this is how you turn the pumps off and on. It's not that hard. You do this, 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 this. This prevents server lag, basically. And it just shows that it's evenly being distributed with water. See, it's only getting 415. It's a lot better than putting the sprinkler up top there. So, that's all I'm really proving here. Anyways, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this video was helpful. And showing you guys how to make the 8x8 farm. Anyways. I'll see you guys in the next video.